So basically, Karamo, I didn't even find out that my dad was with her until I was on social media one day. Mm. And mind you, me and my dad follow each other on TikTok. Okay. So boom, I'm looking on TikTok, and then I see this video, and excuse my French, but they had made a song talking about they <laughs> each other. So in my head, I'm like, this ain't real. Like, that's not yeah, my dad. Yeah, that's not real, yeah. So I start getting heated. I'm like, what the f And then boom, my dad, he lives in Georgia. I live in Florida. Okay. So he had told me to um, pull up on him. So I pull up and I get in the car and the bitch didn't even say hi to me, first of all. So my dad had to speak for her. And I was like, okay, first, that was the first red flag. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, all right, I, don't, I already don't with her. After that, she gonna send me a paragraph basically saying, oh, like, I know how, I know how you feel, whoop the whoop. Basically talking about how she's in love with my dad, like, mm. and not to feel any type of way about it. At the end of the day, I, we in the same generation. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I already know what You're type of game. Part. Right. Mm -hmm. I already know what type of game she's trying to play. Mm. But she's not about to play with my daddy. You feel me? Okay, got it. So you believe she is using your dad? Yeah. What has definitely. she gotten so far to tell to make you feel that way? Um, because my dad told me that she was homeless or whatever, and my dad always taking in the homeless, so. Mm. I wouldn't be surprised if he picked up another one. Okay, and Lee sent you a text message. Hey, I just wanted to let you know I definitely think about how you feel, and I'm not asking you to like me. I just want you to know it was never about age between me and your dad. Actually, before I even knew his age, I knew I was in love with him. I knew he had kids when I met him. He just didn't tell me the ages yet. When I found out he had a 20-year-old daughter, I definitely didn't want to go through with the relationship because I knew it was going to be like this. He insisted on continuing it, so I apologize if I don't seem like I care. I respect how you feel. That's a very nice message. I guess. Why you guess? Because at the end of the day, Karamo, it's like, that's my dad. You feel me? Like, regardless okay. of this paragraph or whatever she's telling me, at the end of the day, I already know what's up. Okay. And she's, she's staying in Atlanta. Like, there's plenty of white men to throw some money and help her out. You feel me? So it's just like, Bitch, that's my dad. Like, yeah. why do you want him? Why white men get a bullet? Y'all saw that? <laughs> <laughs> they got a bullet, but no, they... <laughs> bullet, done. All right, well, this relationship between Robert and Lee upsets you. Yes, it does. And, um, and when you tell him it upsets you, what does he say? He just be like, oh, Callisto, I'm in love with her. Like, I can't control who I love. Uh -huh. To me, that sounds like Well, Callisto's dad, Robert, is here, and we're going to bring him out in one moment, but first, Let's hear what his girlfriend, Lee, had to say. Everyone, please welcome Lee to the show. Just to clear the air, I wasn't homeless when I met your dad. That's completely wrong. Okay, so why do you live with him? We were, I, after the club, we hung out, chilled. He told me to come back to his place, so we just, we never separated. Mm -hmm. We just been together since the beginning. And even when we started, he, he was actually in another relationship bef before we even did anything. When everything was going on, I really didn't want to be with your dad in the beginning because of how he did me in the beginning of the relationship. And yeah, with I knew. Else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I knew he had a girlfriend or whatever the case may be, but it's like he was telling me different things and then he it, it was it's just crazy. Got like, it. The, how does it feel when Calista says that you're using her dad though? <sighs> She, you, you don't know me. You haven't been around me. We haven't had no, like this. We haven't done this before, so, um. You don't even know what to say, because you I'm, know you're using him. I'm you not using, I'm him. not using him, though. You, you mm. can't, you, you don't know me. You've never been around me. It's, and, and it's, it came to a point where I had to drop everything because he got evicted from his, his spot when I, moved in. It was like, that was my birthday in August. That was my birthday. Mm -hmm. I was out in his lawn helping pick up my from his lawn when mm -hmm. it was raining and all types of My all in bags and I had to, at a point, I, I didn't want to say this, but I had to go strip to keep us in, uh, in a roof because mm -hmm. he, he wasn't comfortable with getting a, a, a regular job because it's been so long for him. Got it. How long have you two been together? Almost a year now. Uh, one year. Okay. So this At the end of the day, term. nobody asks you to do that, though. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't have to ask. That's just the type of person I am, though. Right. But hearing her say that, like, they were evicted and that she actually had to find a job where she could support them, does that make you still feel like 
she's using him? Yeah, because, so what does that mean? What, is, what does it have to do with anything? And did he propose to you? He has asked me to marry him, yes. Okay. Did you That's know that? That's the first time I'm gonna even find this out, Karamo. Yeah. Like, I didn't even know they was about to get married. First, first you're already a little girl. Now you telling me y'all about to get y'all about to get married, but you can't even take care of your own daughter. Mm. Like I don't get that. Okay. From my understanding, I can't really speak too much on it. But when he was trying to be in your life, it's like you didn't even want him to be in your life. I and never you can't said that. use the. But that's what I'm just saying. That's why I just said I can't really say too much on it. But from what I'm what I'm getting brought into, that's what I'm saying. That's how I feel about it. Lee, are you concerned about the 20 year age difference? <sighs> Somewhat, but not really. Not really? No. Why not really, though? Like, why does it, It's just something you? I've always been, I've always done. I've always been with somebody older than me. Do you call your, your father dad or Robert? I call him Robert because after I found out about them two, it's like, you not, until you act like a father, I'm not going to call you dad. Mm. You feel me? Like, mm. that's just how I feel, honestly. Do you call him as a pet name daddy? <laughs> yeah, because what, what do you call him? Because I know I don't even call him dad. So what do you call him? Daddy. Okay. Babe. Okay. Okay. Baby. Okay. Well, I think it's time to bring out um, Robert or daddy. <laughs> yeah. Daddy. And hear what he has to say about all this. So Robert, come on out. Why did she have to find out about the relationship on TikTok? Why didn't you just communicate with her like I'm in a relationship and I'm happy? <laughs> Why am I the first daughter at that? The first, your first child, and you can't even have the common decency to let me know, regardless if we talk or not? Because Callista's not disrespectful. So I gotta say one thing. Lee, I actually do respect the fact that you sent that message. Exactly. It I, was just a respect thing. Like, yeah, I, I, I understand, I understand her point of view. And, let me, and I understand your mother's frustration and anger and where that's coming from and how that's causing more tension in this. But what she was trying to do, what she didn't have to do, was trying to at least acknowledge, like, I understand this is awkward for you. I understand our same age. And I think it was actually a very mature thing for her to do to show respect that she didn't have to do. And I appreciate you doing that because it shows your character. So thank you for being here. Of course, I want to talk to them. Me. Yeah. Yeah, get out. Get out. And I don't know why you're going to kiss him away. I, I don't want to see her again. Like, real crumble. Well, well the, uh, the thing is, unfortunately, that's not a decision you can make or I can make. Your father is the only person to make that decision if he's in a relationship with him. Um, but at the end of the day, the reason I asked her to leave is because I, I didn't need her out here in the first place because this is about you two. This is about a daughter who, you, out of your own mouth, felt abandoned, felt disrespected by her father leaving, was in a hard situation with her mother, the mother has feelings of anger. And unfortunately, when we're in relationships, those, especially our oldest, they pick up on like what it is because you in the house, being the oldest, I'm almost sure, had to then become the protector of your mom. But that's not your fault. What is the fault is from you because once she started to pick up those feelings, dad should have been right there to say, no, I'm sorry for what I did. I'm sorry that I, that I wasn't there to tell you that I still love you, to tell you that I am there to support you. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna ask you right now, what do you need from your dad? I need you to be there for me. Mm -hmm. You already missed hella years. You can't take them back. Nobody can go back in the past. But if you're gonna be here now in my life, I'm gonna give you an ultimatum. It's either you with me and you leave her or you go with her and you never speak to me again. So hold on, let me tell you this really quickly because I'm gonna respond for you for this. I'm gonna respond for you in this moment. Because if you respond, it's gonna seem more like rejection. It is not fair for you to make an ultimatum to your father in that way. And the reason being is because what you just said are not your own feelings, those are your mother's feelings. But what she can, and she's right for, is that I can understand completely how it would feel, and I want you to put her in your shoes, and yourself in her shoes, my father was not there for me between the ages of 13 and 19. Critical ages for a young woman. Critical. And even out of your mouth, you flippantly made a joke that like, well, you know, she over here mad because I'm teaching this young girl how to drive. Like those jokes, like, in your mind might be fun, but for her, 
she did miss out on dad teaching her how to drive. Yeah. And she did miss out on everything else. And so she has the right to be fully pissed about the fact that, like, you got somebody who's almost my age. It's not about Lee. It's about the fact that she's saying, Dad, you didn't give me what I deserved. Can you talk to your daughter about that? I'm not going to take your ultimatum, obviously. You know that I'm a very stubborn, selfish person. You know me. Trust, okay, so I'm definitely going to stay with Lee, okay, because she makes me Bro. happy. I'm sorry. Yeah. I can't do it. Yeah. I got to tell you this. I was trying to help you to understand that bringing up Lee or any of these things, I was trying to model and give you the tools. Mm -hmm. See, what you need to understand is that your daughter sees that you're capable of giving love because you're giving it to love to a girl that's Correct. almost the same age. Correct. She needs her father to say, no matter who else I'm loving, I'm always going to love you. No matter if I'm with her, I'm gonna make sure you're a priority. I'm gonna make sure that you see that you're a priority from here on out. Mm -hmm. I wish I knew all this before she walked off. I months. know. This is a learning process. It's a learning process. It's a learning process. It's a I learning blew process. it. You didn't blow it. You didn't blow okay, it. Okay, I'll get her back out here. Let me, I'm not going to get her back out here. Because what I want you to do, what you should have done when she was 13, is you go after her. Go for it. I'm sorry for mentioning her name period, when this is your chance to heal. But what I will tell you, just like Karomo just told me to tell you, no matter who I'm with or what I'm doing, I'm gonna love you more than I love the check, okay? I'm sorry that I haven't been there, but I'm here now and I'm gonna work every day, every second, every hour. Don't close your heart out to me, open it up. I'm here, I'm your father. I love you, Callista. Okay, and I'm sorry. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry. Can we go back out here? Okay. Because, I mean, obviously, Karomo's the best of the best, and. <laughs> I love you, girl. How are you feeling right now? I just feel overwhelmed with emotions right now. Yeah. I'm just still, it's still gonna take me time to get used to the fact that I'm sorry, but yeah. your bitch is the same age as me. Yeah, yeah. So I... can I encourage you to do this? Um, if you really want a relationship with your father, you can't worry about anybody else. Mm -hmm. So I get it. But if you really want to see this relationship be built, Y'all both have to, this is where you have to meet him. I made sure he can't win and got to you because no longer you chasing after him. But this is where you, this is where you, as a young woman, get to show your maturity. You deserved love that you did not receive. And yes, your mother gave it to you and you had all the support, but you deserved him to be there. My baby girl. Okay. And he's, what, I'm, what I've noticed about you, and I'm gonna give you your flowers, is that I know you came here to learn. You came here to grow, and I see it. You're like, everything I'm saying, you're processing it, receiving it, and putting it into clear action. And I can tell you, I can tell you something as a young woman. I've been doing this many years with many men, and men are normally the hardest to learn, to adapt something you teach them, and to grow quickly. It's just the truth. The fact that I saw him do it in real time shows me that he does love you and he wants to be there. Do you want to say, Dad, I'll let you in? Robert, I will let you in. And hopefully one day I'll stop calling you by your government and I will accept this relationship. But right now, I just need time, but I will let you in. Good. And will, and will you commit to say, I will show up for you? Daughter. I will show up for you, day in, day out. Stick with that, and it will help y'all have a good relationship, okay? All right. I really do wish y'all the best of luck.